An example of a symbiotic relationship or mutualism is shown by lichens. A lichen is composed of a fungus and an algae. The fungus's job is to hold the lichen onto a surface, such as trees, rocks, older buildings, stone walls, or even graveyards. These are typically the places where lichens are found. The algae provides food for both itself and the fungus through a process called photosynthesis. In return for the food, the fungus uh, retains moisture for the algae. The algae um, has a hard time um, keeping in water, so the fungus helps, helps the algae with that. And the reason this is a mutualism or a symbiotic relationship is because both organisms um, benefit from each other and require each other to survive. And another type of interaction um, that was shown when we found this branch out in the ecoscape that had lichen on it was the relationship between the lichen and the tree. So that is a commensalism type of interaction because um, one organism benefits while the other one is neither harm nor is benefited. So in this case, the lichen is the organism that's being benefited because it has a place to grow and thrive on the tree. And the tree could care less that the lichen is there. It doesn't, um, it doesn't really affect it or it's not really benefited from it. And most people think if lichen is found on trees or grows on trees, then it's very, very harmful and, it, and in some way is uh, hurting the tree, but it actually is not. So um, these were two interactions that Mariella and I noticed when we came across this um, tree branch in the ecoscape that had lichen on it. And lichen is um, actually very, very important. It has been um, found to be useful for food, uh, medicine, dyes, oils for perfume, and specifically in Japan, there's a, there's a type of species of lichen that they eat and is considered to be um, very healthy and boosts the immune system. They usually eat it in soups or salads. And the um, lichen are also very, very useful for reindeer and caribou during the winter seasons because they consume lichen um, from the ground or um, dig it up or find it somewhere. And um, it actually has been found to have 1-5% to protein and zero fat. And um, also some deer um, digest lichen because they have a special enzyme called lichenase. Um, so this is a very, very important um, organism and it can be found anywhere in the world. A characteristic feature we noticed on uh, the tree branch that had lichen on it was that the lichen kind of popped out and it was um, sort of puffy. And when we did some research, we found that the shape of the lichen corresponds to a specific category. And the one that we saw was a foliage lichen. And it's sort of like a 2D, it's kind of like popping out, comes out towards you a little bit. And there's also um, fructose lichen, which are kind of like spiky. So um, lichen can come in all different types of shapes. And they also can come in all different types of colors, like um, red, orange, um, whitish green, which is the one that we saw.